it's Hugh Sweeney and I'm back here with another video. It's been a while since I've done a video, um, well, this type of video. I haven't done a review or or anything in a while. Now, I, ha I am reviewing the Blackmagic uh, production camera 4K, but that's, that's gonna be ready in, in a few weeks, hopefully in a week or two. I just wanted to do this video um, about uh, Native Instruments Complete. Um, they have a new product, uh, well it's actually, uh, it's all of their products, it's called Complete 10 and it's hitting the market very very soon. Basically Nat Native Instruments are a, if you don't know what they are, they're a software company that produce software synthesizers and effects as well as some hardware devices as well. Now <clears throat> years ago I bought a, um, uh, I bought a software synthesizer collection called Reactor and that was back in 2004 and two years ago in 2012 I bought, uh, this is Complete 9 but I bought Complete 8 and it only cost me 175 euros and basically what it was or what Complete 8 was was all their, all their products bundled into one and a couple of weeks ago, two months ago I bought Complete 9 for just 75 euros uh, as an upgrade from Complete 8. Now, um, Complete 8 had included a lot of product, <coughs> it had pretty much everything in it. Uh, Complete 9 had some one or two new synthesizers. I'll have a look at them right now with you. Also, um, they had updated one or two of their uh, drum machines like battery and, and there was one or two other updates in there. Uh, some effects units were added. So I thought it was worth it. I mean, 75 euros. I think that's all I paid. Um, remarkably uh, affordable. As software companies goes, Native Instruments really do give you value for money. But they're very, very clever in how they do it. Native Instruments have all these different products. You'll see all their products on their websites. They've read on their websites. They've got a huge amount of uh, synthesizers and effects and stuff like that. And if you look at their individual prices, individually they're quite expensive. Now, uh, there's a product called Razer. The funny thing is, when I bought a Complete 8, um, it had a load of synthesizers in it. And that same day, I, I ended up buying Razer um, as a discounted upgrade for 50 euros. It's, it's 99 euros now. So um, they've got a massive amount. As you can see, some of these guys are effects here and stuff like that. Um, other ones here are different uh, synthesizers. So Complete 9 has been, is the one that's out now, but they're bringing out Complete 10. It's coming out in a few weeks. And Complete 10, if we look at the, um, what's new in Complete 10, they have a new synthesizer called Rounds. Uh, Rounds is a groundbreaking instrument that combines digital and, an and analog synth engines with complex sequenced sound shifting capabilities. This is just insane. I like the look of this thing. It's kind of a drum machine. It's called Polyplex. And, uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff. You can, you can get demo tracks there as well and listen to that. Contour is uh, another synthesizer. So you've got three new synthesizers with Complete 10. Uh, also, they've added this definitive piano collection. And uh, they have sessions, horns, drum lab. They've got these uh, supercharger and driver effects. Now, I was gonna buy this guy here, a supercharger, and it cost 100 euros on its own. Driver as well, I think I think that costs about 100 euros on its own. But I was gonna buy this guy, and I could get complete 10 for just 175 euros as a, or 199 euros as a cross grade. So maybe I'll just wait uh, for a complete 10. Um, instead of just wasting money on one plug-in, I'll get, I'll get all this stuff extra. <coughs> it comes like this. You get a 12 DVD. Uh, collection box like this um, and you basically just put the first one in you install it it asks for the next DVD and it takes about like 10 minutes to install each DVD maybe more and then at the end <coughs> the end the final DVD um, uh, it just takes takes ages so, so you need you need to set aside a couple of hours to install it but once it's installed it's uh, very straightforward it's already it already loads itself up and will be available in your digital audio workstation so if I go here and just click on a new instrument right here, if I click down here, <clears throat> don't know how well you can see this, if I go to all instruments, I can see that down here on the left hand side we have basically what we get from complete. Starting at the top we have Absynth, that's one of their synthesizers. 
And then we have battery three. That was from a previous version of uh, complete. Then we have battery four. It's giving you the different options. You can have multiple outputs, which is very, very, uh, which is ideal. FM8, which is a synthesizer for they have for a couple of years. Contact, which is basically their software sampler, which is a fantastic piece of uh, gear. And then uh, Massive, uh, which is another brilliant synthesizer. And then you have Reactor. And uh, Reactor is uh, fantastic as well. Within Reactor is sort of like a, uh, it's like an interface that has loads of different software and effects in it. So that's those guys. Now, if you want to use effects, <clears throat> You look at it, they've got effects there as well. They've got Absence has its own effects, FM8 has its own effects, and Guitar Rig has its own effects as well. Also, Reactor has its own effects. Now, Guitar Rig, uh, don't let the name Guitar put you off. It's actually, it's it's kind of based on the old guitar style um, effects and all that, but it's 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 suitable for everything from vocals to synthesizers. So if I want to if I want to load up a, um, a synth here from Native Instruments, um, let's just put in a drum machine. Uh, we'll just go to battery four, and we we'll go to a stereo output. Now this machine, my device here, <coughs> or my system is pretty slow because I'm I'm uh, doing a, I have a lot of applications running. So if we just go to um, say a 909 multiple kit, just double click on it. So we have our, oh, is that recording? Um, let me see. So there we've all our pads. Battery four is absolutely fantastic. Um, so we've battery four. If we if we just record a, now I'm having to do this very very. <laughs> I gotta do this under very quiet speaker conditions or else I'll have feedback. So there we've recorded our MIDI information. We can see that's where our clap is coming out there. Um, and then we've got our kick drum in there. Let's just delete everything. Let's just delete all this stuff and we will. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we just gotta. So. I mean, I'm not even going to show you battery. You can do so much with this. With this, you can split out the 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 individual instruments into different channels. You put effects and stuff like that. Um, now, what one other thing that came with uh, Complete Nine was the um, we've got we've got different effects. Like it's got a compressor. Um, this is this comes with Complete Nine as well. All this stuff is going to be within Complete Ten. So we have uh, basically a compressor that we can we can add. Um, We can add different effects. Now I can I can barely hear this. I'm only just showing you guys. So that's that's one of the effects there. Of course, you could uh, you could add on, um, uh, you know, you could you could add on guitar rig uh, as well here, and just uh, you know fuck about with that a little bit. Um, you know, that's just a, some of these are just ensembles that are put together. These are these are different effects units. Uh, Guitar Rig has just got loads of different effects. You can you can just add, stack all your effects in there. Um, so that is kind of, that's that. Let's just have a look. If we create a new, uh, if we go track and we go new, um, we get software instrument and we will create a new instruments. Uh, if I go to reactor five, um, just go to stereo output, configured correctly but we have let's just let's just put razor in there now this is just a really fat synthesizer and it's it's just it's actually very straightforward it's got this cool visual my keyboard playing is terrible um Let's just put a little bit of MIDI information in there. Um, 
That's just sounding so awful, but you basically, um, you know, there's, it's just got this huge library of, of synthesizers. Um, bam, bam, bam. Let's just double click on Reactor. They've got a new synthesizer that is with it. It's called Monarch. Um, bam, bam, bam. got all these brilliant uh, brilliant controls I mean there's there's so many synthesizers there's so many there's so much included in complete <clears throat> now if you've bought some of the native instruments uh, stuff you, you might be entitled to get yourself complete 10 as a upgrade or a cross grade so if I want to buy complete 10 I am um, I'll be able to buy it for 200 euros, which is, uh, what I'm gonna get is, for 200 euros, is I'm gonna get this synthesizer, this drum machine, this synthesizer, this piano collection, and uh, these new, a um, the couple of drum kits, session horns, drum lab here. These are for contact. Um, and then I'm gonna get this supercharger and driver. Now, another thing about Complete is, they also have uh, Complete Ultimate where they include uh, extra sounds and stuff like that and some extra, some extra instruments. So yeah, you can see here's all the included products. I have a lot of these already with Complete 9, like Reactor Prism, Reactor Spark. Um, a lot of these are new stuff. I've got a lot of these as well, Transient Master, I have that. You know, there's just so much. So basically, you gotta ask yourself, complete 10, I mean, is it worth it? I think it is. I think Native, Native Instruments are a fantastic company and um, they give you just such great value for money. Once you buy some of their products, you can get these upgrades. Like every year, you can just spend 200 bucks like and get a new, the new version of it and it's very, very affordable. I wish other software companies like, um, UAD and perhaps Waves. I wish they offered as good a value for money as complete uh, as Native Instruments do because their stuff is just so expensive. Um, just go back to Logic. That was that sounded terrible. So if I close that, just to show you sort of a quick configuration. Um, as you can see there, that is. On, if we look at the, the on the bottom here, we've got all these different uh, things going on here. Guitar rig is loaded up there in channel one. It's doing certain effects on that uh, whatever instrument I had there. Um, auto filter, that's just the uh, that comes with Logic. Massive is loaded up in there. It's giving us a lead line. Um, what else do we have? We've got like battery. Battery's doing its thing. We've got contact. Contact is a sampler. Um, we have only just got one sound in there. I mean, that's all you need. But like, you could, you all you need for one track is just to use contact. You can just do everything in contact. The problem is with some uh, with these uh, instruments, they're so intricate and so detailed, and there's so much going on that it can be very overwhelming, and you you just don't know you don't know where to start. When you start playing about with one synthesizer, you go, oh wow, well, maybe I'll use the other synthesizer. But sometimes it's better just to use like, just use contact and, and just really get to know that sampler. Or even battery, just like play about all day with the drum machines. I mean, there's so much you can do. You can just build a track using battery on its own. Um, also, um, let's see what else we got here. You know, there's a solid bus compressor that's doing its thing there on the drums. Um, we also have, let me see, battery for contact, massive, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just one other thing about Native Instruments, they, they build some hardware, hardware as well, so, 
I just stopped that. Uh, they have this product called Machine. It's M-A-S-C-H-I-N-E. It's basically a drum machine synthesizer built into a standalone unit, which fully integrates with your software, with your native instrument software. Um, that's the new version, it's called Machine Studio. I mean, just look at it, looking at that. I mean, it's just an awesome, an awesome, awesome tool. Um, let's see, they've got like, you know, you can buy all these different um, kits and upgrades for a machine. Uh, different, different, uh, different, we'll say software synthesizers <clears throat> and drum machines. There's different sounds that you can just buy for, you know, 50 quid and 50, 50 euros and just uh, load it into machine. Um, this is a brand new synthesizer. I did, I did a review of a synthesizer or an unboxing of a, of a MIDI, a MIDI uh, keyboard about a year, almost a year ago. And people slayed at me, they said, oh man, you don't know what you're doing, blah, 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 you're not a musician. Well, actually, I, I, I am a musician to a certain extent because I, I produce electronic music and um, I don't play brilliant keyboards or anything. I don't play good, any type of keyboards, but I do use, you do still need it. So it's very important and MIDI keyboards are important for, for people like myself. Plus for doing sound design and stuff like that for movies. Um, but they had this brand new machine, this brand new keyboard, it's called Control S series and it lights up uh, fucking brilliantly. It's just an awesome looking piece of kit. So that's 600 euros, very affordable. And if you have your, your uh, if you're getting out your, your new Complete 10, maybe it's worth it, worth it looking at getting that keyboard as well. So that's about it. I know this video is a bit all over the place. Um, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to record audio from the, Mac as well as re record my voice, it's just really tricky. So I've had to use the Tascam coming from the sound card and uh, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, look, that's just a quick chat about this. If you're, make, if you're into making movies, I think um, complete, uh, you know, there's some great synthesizers and sound effects in there that are very good uh, for, for movie stuff. They're, they're actually, they've got um, certain, certain uh, instruments that come with the ultimate version called Damage and stuff like that and they, they basically they're designed just for scoring films so I think if you're if you're into making your own sounds for movies I think you should look at uh, you could look at getting these guys but as I said Complete 10 is out in uh, about three weeks time on October the 1st as is this uh, keyboard so that's all for now thanks for watching I'll probably have uh, a much more organized video next time uh, do check out my new website I've, I've registered a website hughsweeney.tv and uh, it's got all my stuff on it. It's only in its early stages, so I'm adding content uh, on uh, ongoing. Also, you can get me on Facebook. Um, I've got a brand new page called Hugh Sweeney Filmmaker, and um, you'll get me there. So check out my Facebook page. Brand new logo, business cards there. Uh, pretty awesome. So thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.